All right, guys, I just finished building my new train. This thing is actually sick. Does it actually work? Yes, of course it works. Anyways, we're here. You guys want to go for a spin? Uh, pff, this, this is your train? It looks like a box. I, what? It does not. I was going for a modern train look, okay? <laughs> yeah, Dash, are you sure this thing can move? Yes, I'm sure it can move. Here, I'll take it for a spin right now. Let me just hop into the captain's chair really quick. And yes, you guys, it's moving. Uh, Dash, is there supposed to be smoke coming out of it? Wait, what? And, oh, no, I, I think something's wrong with the engine. Jenna, what's going on in... Oh, wait. Uh, I don't think that really worked. What, Dash, are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, but uh, oh, my train kind of got destroyed. Yeah, I told you that train wasn't that great. Yeah, I could totally build a way better train than that. Yeah, and a way safer one, too. And, what? No, wait, guys. It's harder than it looks, okay? Uh, are you sure about that? I bet I could build a way better one uh, right now. Oh, uh, yeah, me too. And what? You guys are both building new trains? Okay, well, you know what? I bet I could build a way better one as well. I, I wasn't even trying on that one. Uh, here, let me go all the way out over here and... Uh, I'm gonna build an absolutely crazy train. Okay, we'll see about that. All right, well, here, the first thing I gotta do is actually build my train track. So here, I'm gonna build this train track way bigger than my old one because this train is gonna be up just much better than that old one. So here, the first thing I gotta do is put down a bunch of smooth stone over here like this. And then let me put down some anvils on top of it like that. Okay, and there's my train track. And wait, you finished building your train track and oh, wait, is that yours over there, Ruby? Wait, you're building a small one? Uh, what do you mean a small one? It's gonna be a long one. Oh, well, I'm gonna build an absolutely ginormous train track because my train is just going to be so massive. I'm going to be able to have so much stuff on it. Uh, what? Is that really necessary? Yep, my train is going to be absolutely crazy. But anyways, this track is starting to look pretty good. Now what I need to do is just uh, make it super long. And the way I can do that is with using commands. So let me just run the command slash slash wand really quick to grab a magic wand. And now if I select this position here and also go all the way here in this other corner and select this position, I can now look this way. And if I run the command slash slash stack, at 10. Check it out. We just extended the track. That is looking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually a really good looking track here. Let me just stack it a little bit more. There we go. And all right, I think there should be plenty of track to start building our train. And oh, I know exactly what type of train I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build a super modern looking train. A modern train? That sounds boring. I'm gonna make sure my train is really fun. Uh, I'm making my train look actually like a train. I, it's gonna look like the, the normal trains. And wait, what, what do you mean by normal train? You know, like the normal trains that go chugga chugga choo choo. And what Wait, you're building a steam train? Uh, no, no, no. Just like normal trains. Cam, I'm pretty sure you are talking about a steam train. Cam, you know those trains are like super old and stuff? My train is going to be way better than that. Well, I'm just going to build a train how I know how. All right, all right. If you say so, but I'm just going to say, guys, my train is absolutely going to be the fastest one here. Okay, you can try. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and build the main part of my train right now. This is going to be like the front area of the train. There's going to be the room with the engine and all that stuff. So, yeah, this is going to be sick. Here, let me put down another wheel right over here like that. There we go. And all right, I think this should be about big enough for the main engine room. Now, I just got to fill all of this in with concrete. And I can do this with my magic wand. Let me select this position and also go over here in this corner and select this position. And let's just run the command slash slash set concrete. Boom, there we go. And all right, nice. Now that we got the concrete done, the next thing we got to do is build the walls. So that should be pretty easy as well. Let's just select that position and also go all the way up here in this corner and select this position. And let's just do slash slash walls concrete. There we go. Now we got some concrete walls, but hold on a minute. I'm not going to make my train look like a box again. This time I'm going to make the front of the train look super cool and like round and stuff so that it looks super modern. A round train? I've never seen a round train before. I got to make sure that the front is round so that it goes super fast, you know? Um, I don't think that's how that works. That's not aerodynamic at all. What? No, no, no. It's going to be super aerodynamic. Here, I just got to round off all the corners up over here and ooh, this is really starting to take shape. Um, you can keep telling yourself that, Dad. Okay, well, Ruby, you keep saying a bunch of stuff, but what are you doing for your train? Your train kind of just looks like a, 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 a magenta box. It has not taken shape yet. Be patient. What? Okay, fine. But here, let me just go ahead and round off all the edges of my train. I gotta make sure to have everything be super nice and round. And all right, there we go. This is actually starting to look pretty good. But anyway, since this is gonna be like the front car of the train, I need to have like all of the captain stuff here. So here, right in the front of the train, let me go ahead and build a little room out of some white concrete. There we go. That is looking 
looking pretty good. And all right, since this is going to be the captain's room, we also need to have a nice area for the captain to like actually see outside and see what's going on. So here, let's go ahead and select this entire front wall over here. And let's just do slash slash set light blue stained glass. There we go. That is looking pretty good. And in fact, why don't we just make this entire captain's area a little bit bigger? Let's just select all of this really quick. And let's just set the entire front of the train into some light blue stained glass. Yeah, there we go. That looks a lot nicer. And in fact, we can move this roof for the captain's area a little bit higher as well. The captain needs to have a nice view to see everything that's going on or else he'll crash the train. Well, how do you crash a train? It's on a track. You literally don't even do anything. And, uh, what? Did you just insult the, the captain of every train ever? Of course you do something. You have to like make sure that you don't uh, run over anyone or any cars or anything. Um, if you run over someone, that means your train wasn't built right. No, Ruby. I mean, what if someone is standing on the track? The captain has to be in charge of, you know, stopping the train to make sure it doesn't hit them. I mean, sure, but that shouldn't happen in the first place. Yeah, but you can't really control whether someone's standing in front of the train or not. What if someone is like accidentally like walking by? Then it's their fault. What? No, that's why you have train workers to stop people. And yeah, exactly. That's why the captain is there. The captain is supposed to stop the train for them. Well, anyways, my train's on a track. I, I'm pretty sure I won't need a captain. What? You're not gonna have a captain? Uh, yeah, I won't need one. Okay, that sounds pretty interesting. But anyways, I'm building my captain's area right now. I'm gonna build my captain's area way up over here. The captain needs to have a good view of everything that's going on. So here, let's just go ahead and extend this staircase going up over here. There we go. That is looking pretty good. And okay, I'm not gonna lie. This uh, captain's area up here is a little bit small. How about what we do is have the real captain's area uh, up over here. And then we can have a ladder to get up to it. Yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty good. Although that kind of defeats the whole purpose of having this staircase here. But whatever, it looks nice. We can have the captain's area right up over here. So here, let's add a little bit of fence around here so that the captain doesn't fall off. And all right, nice. Now we got to grab everything we need. Let's go ahead and grab one of these captain's chairs. And we also got to grab this thing called the physics infuser. This is like the control panel of the ship. So here, let's put the captain's seat right over here. And then we can put the control panel right over here. And there we go. That is looking nice. But wait a minute. Hold on. Uh, most of the time that the captain is sitting here, he's not actually going to be doing anything. So why don't I add a little mini fridge for him so that he can like have snacks and stuff? Well, that actually sounds like a pretty good idea. Well, I could go for a snack right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a pretty cool idea. Here, I'm going to put some uh, food inside of this fridge. I'll put a little bit of this uh, kebab in there. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, ooh, what about some fruits? We can have some uh, apples. Why not? We can have some apples, some golden apples, and also some enchanted golden apples because we got to have this captain staying sharp at all times. But that sounds boring. You should put in some soda in there to keep him awake. What? Soda? No, that sounds very unhealthy. I need my captain to be in top shape if he's going to be controlling my train. But how is he going to stay awake without sugar? And, uh, uh, the what, Ruby? There's a lot of ways to stay awake without sugar. You can eat, like, apples and, uh, like, normal food. I don't know about that one. Okay, okay. But anyways, I think the captain's area is about done. Let me add a sign right over here saying captain's room. There we go. And all right, sick. Now I got to finish the rest of this train car. And hmm, we got a lot of room here. What should we do? I guess this first train car can be meant for all of the staff. So what we could do is grab a little bit of seating for them. Let's just grab some of these modern chairs. Ooh, these look really nice. And let's put down a bunch of chairs over here for all of the employees who are going to be on this train. What? How many employees are you going to have on your train? I'm going to have a lot of employees because this train is going to be the most nice luxury train ever. You know, people who come on here are going to get top service. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of employees too because my train is super long. That just seems like a waste to me. What? My train is going to be so epic that if you want to get water, you can just like press a button and then an employee will come deliver it to you. That sounds awesome. Yup, it's going to be awesome. Here, I'm just building the employee area right now. So here we go. This is going to be where the train crew can stay. Wait, Dash, you're building the caboose in the front? Uh, you know it's supposed to be in the back, right? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there. What did you... A caboose? What is that? Uh, it's the back of the train. What? Okay, well, I'm not building the back of the train. I'm building the front of the train right now. Yeah, you're building the container for all the employees. That's like at the back of the thing. That's the caboose. Wait, I think he's right. Wait, what? The employee area is supposed to be in the back of the train? Yes, so that the normal passengers don't see them. What? What, what difference does it make if it's in the back or the front? It's the caboose. It's supposed to be in the back, not the front. Okay, okay. Well, my train is going to be different. It's going to be in the front for mine. Uh, no. Cabooses are in the back for a reason. What, what reason? Uh, I don't know. They just are. Okay, okay. Well, I'm still going to build mine in the front here. Right now, I'm adding a bunch of windows on the sides so that the employees can have a really nice view of everything that's going on outside of the train. So this should be pretty epic. Let's just go ahead and put all of this blue stained glass over here. There we go. This is actually looking awesome. Let's go. And here, now what we got to do is just add a roof in this room. So let me grab another wand and let's select this position and also this position all the way over here. And let's just set all of this 
and to some concrete. Let's go. And anyways, this first car of my train is actually looking really nice. This is actually starting to look like a modern train. This looks sick. But ooh, wait a minute. You know what would make this thing look even nicer? If we added some epic purple highlights on it. Let me just select this position and also go all the way into the back of the train and select this position. And now let me just run the command slash slash set purple concrete. Boom. There we go. Check it out. That is looking awesome. Here, let's go ahead and add this all around the entire train just to make it look a bit nicer. There we go. And all right, nice. Now that we got the front car of the train done, the next thing we got to do is build the passenger car. So here, the first thing we got to do is go ahead and build a little hallway back over here to connect both of the cars. So here we go. Something like this should be about good enough. And now the next thing we got to do is build another one of these cars in the back. So here, let's go ahead and put down some blocks over here. These are going to be our wheels. And then let's also go ahead and put another set of wheels right over here. And alrighty, now let's go ahead and build the actual uh, car. So here, the first thing we got to do is set the floor, of course. So let's do slash slash set concrete. Boom. There we go. And then the next thing we got to do is add the walls. So let's just select all of these positions up over here. Let me go up here and select this. And let's just do slash slash walls concrete. Boom. There we go. That is looking nice. And then finally, let's set the roof into some concrete as well. And all right, there we go. Our passenger's car is looking nice. But hold on a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and extend this hallway a little bit. It hasn't fully connected yet. There we go. That is looking pretty good. And here, one final thing we can do to connect both of the cars together is let's add a few end rods over here just to make sure that, you know, the cars don't get uh, disconnected from each other while driving. That would be very bad. Oh, man, my train is looking awesome. And wait, hold on. I want to take a look at your train. And whoa, wait, this actually is looking pretty cool. And wait, you have smoke coming out of yours. Are you making a steam train as well? Um, not quite. It's not going to be powered by steam. It's going to be powered by coal. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, my train is going to be electric because uh, I'm pretty sure that's the fastest. Is that going to be enough power to move the train? Oh, yeah, yeah. It should be plenty of power. But anyways, now the next thing I got to do is connect both of the cars together. So let me make a door right over here like this. And hold on. We should probably actually use a door for this. What type of door should we use? And oh, wait a minute. What about we use this hangar door? This actually looks sick. Yeah, yeah. We can have two hangar doors right over here to connect both of the cars together. There we go. And all right, nice. Now we are in the passenger area. And here, the first thing we got to do is let's go ahead and add these purple highlights again just to make it look a bit nicer. Let's go ahead and select these positions and let's just do slash slash walls purple concrete. There we go. Looking good. And all right, now let's head back inside. And all right, what should we build inside of the passengers area? Let's see. And oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Since this is going to be like a super luxury uh, private train, what about we have individual rooms for all of the passengers? Wait, that sounds like it'll take a lot of space though. Are you sure that's not overkill? And no, it should be just fine. You know, since my train is going to be super nice and luxury, everyone needs to have their own room. It's going to be awesome. Um, okay. As long as you don't think that's too heavy for the train to, you know, actually go. And what? No, no, no. It should be just fine. You know, this is barely going to add any weight. But anyways, let's see. What should I build inside of each passenger room? Ooh, I guess the first thing we should have is a chair, of course. Let's see. What's the most comfortable looking chair? And oh, wait a minute. What about this grand chair? This thing actually looks awesome. We can have one grand chair in each room. And then, ooh, what about we also have a bed in each room? What a bed? Yep. What if the train is going for like a long time? You know, if it's a super long drive, people are going to want to take a nap. Um, I guess so. But, uh, I don't know about that. Are you planning on going places that are really far away? Well, I mean, that's what trains do. Yeah, wait, that's kind of the whole point of a train. No, trains don't always have to travel far. No, but they're meant to, like, you travel a bunch, so you might get sleepy on the road. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So here, I'm gonna have a bed, a chair, and also a chest with a little bit of storage and some barrels. So, yeah, this should be pretty nice, you know? I don't think anyone's gonna be upset at a room like this. And here, the next thing we gotta do is copy and paste this room a bunch of times. So let me just select this room really quick, and now if I look this way and run the command slash slash stack up five check it out now we got five more of those rooms and hold on a minute i think i may have stacked it a little bit too far yeah okay hold on let me slash slash undo that and here let's try slash slash stacking it again except only four times this time and hey there we go check it out now we got a bunch of rooms and hold on let me check inside of them did they all work and <gasps> yes let's go check it out this looks awesome hold on a minute all of the rooms that we copy and pasted though are kind of missing windows so let's go ahead and quickly add those in next oh i'm way ahead of you and wait what you're, you're ahead of me what do you mean i just added curtains to mine and oh wait you added curtains to your window that's pretty nice i don't think i'm 
gonna need curtains. I don't really know why anyone's gonna want to close them uh, unless it's like I don't know too sunny and they want to go to sleep. Uh, that would be exactly why they would want to close them. Yeah. And okay, actually, that is kind of a good point. Okay, here, let me grab a few curtains. And oh wait, wait, actually, how about instead of curtains, I can use window blinds. I can put a bunch of window blinds right over here like that, and whenever you want to close them up, you can just click and close them right up so you can go to bed. Oh wait, that'll probably look pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I think these window blinds look a bit better than curtains. Curtains kind of seem annoying, but here, let me put these window blinds on all of these. What? I like the curtains. Nah, I think these window blinds look cooler. Curtains get, like, dirty and stuff. Uh, okay, whatever you say. All right, and boom, there we go. All these window blinds are looking awesome. And here, now what I need to do is copy and paste these rooms all the way over to the other side. So here, let me just select all of these positions here. I'm gonna select that position, and then also this position here in the other corner. And now check this out. If I stand right over here and run the command slash slash copy, now I can go over here on the other side and just run the command slash slash flip and then slash slash paste and boom there we go check it out we just copy and pasted all of the rooms onto the other side this is looking awesome and oh the wait a minute hold on uh i think the window blinds kind of messed up a little bit oh gosh hold on wait i need to put these back over here on the right side where they're supposed to be there we go all right now that's looking a lot better all right but anyways now that we have all of these rooms done the next thing i was thinking of building why don't we build a little balcony area up here where people can like uh, look off the side of the train and see what's going on wait, a balcony on the train that seems a bit dangerous doesn't it and the, what? no no it's not gonna be like a balcony off the side of the train it's just gonna be a balcony like inside of the train and then there's also gonna be windows on the side so that you can see what's going on oh all right i see yep this area is gonna be sick and here uh, the next thing i need to do is add a little bit of stairs to actually get up here so let me grab some of those really quick and we can just add these stairs in right over here like this i think this should all fit let's see is this gonna fit and <gasps> yes there we go that fits perfectly here we can have another set of stairs over here on this side like that and all right this is looking pretty nice actually let's make the entire wall of this balcony area out of some light blue stained glass like that there we go this is actually starting to look pretty awesome and all right sick i think this car should be done we've got the passenger car complete all right but anyways let's see we've got the passenger car done but hmm what else are people gonna need on a luxury train like this and oh wait a minute they're gonna need like food and stuff i should build a kitchen car Ooh, a kitchen car what are you gonna put in it oh well it's pretty much just gonna be like a ginormous kitchen and oh ooh, i have an idea i can make it like a buffet where people can just go in and get whatever food they want and then they could like take the food to wherever they want and eat it a buffet on a train aren't you scared of people spilling stuff well i mean i gotta have some food somehow i don't know what else to do um maybe not a buffet okay well then what should i have i don't know but if you have a buffet all the food trees are gonna spill when the train gets shaky and hmm, okay okay yeah, yeah you kind of do have a good point what could i do to make it so that all of the food stuff doesn't spill everywhere and oh wait a minute what about i have an automatic buffet i can have all of the food inside of dispensers and then people can just press a button to get their food mm a bit better. Here, the first thing I need to do is grab a few dispensers, and I'm just gonna put those on each side of the train walls just like this. We're gonna have a wall of dispensers over here, and then another wall of dispensers on the other side over here. And then, inside of each dispenser, we could put some food. So, uh, let's see. What type of food do people like? I guess the first thing we can have are some of the basic stuff, right? So, we can have apples, some golden apples, some enchanted golden apples, and then, ooh, we can also have some item frames where we display what's inside of the dispenser. So, we can have apples in here, so just like that. And then, in this one we can have golden apples and then in this one over here we can have enchanted golden apples okay yeah this is looking pretty good and here the next thing we need are some buttons so let me grab some of those and uh we can just put down the buttons right over here on top of the dispenser and now whenever you hit the button you can get your food let's go okay that is actually pretty awesome but okay now we need some more food so let's see what type of food are people gonna want to eat on a train um maybe cake and ooh, okay uh cake could be cool i guess i guess we can have a dessert section i can have some cake some pumpkin pie Hi. Ooh, some cookies, maybe? Ooh, that sounds good. And, ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. There's a bunch more cakes that I could use. <gasps> I could have some apple cakes. I could have some cheesecakes. I'm pretty sure people like that. Oh, yeah. People love cheesecakes. And I could also have some carrot cakes. Okay, yeah, this is actually pretty epic. Let's go ahead and put those in uh, these dispensers over here. We could have all of the carrot cakes here. We can have all of the apple cakes in this one. We can have the cheesecakes over here and then the normal cakes over here. And then on these ones, on this side, we can have some cookies and then also some pumpkin pie. And 
right here. Now let's go ahead and put down all of the item frames. So there we go. Let's go ahead and grab some carrot cakes and put that in that item frame right over there. And then let's grab the apple cakes, put that in. Let's put down the cheesecakes, the normal cakes, uh, also these cookies, and then finally the pumpkin pie. So here, I guess this could be the dessert area of the buffet, but now we need to have some like actual food as well. So here, I guess this could be the area for like a uh, normal food. So uh, what type of normal food do we need? Ooh, what about a little bit of steak? Um, what else? What else? Ooh, we could have some uh, mutton, a little bit of pork chops. Why not? And ooh, also what about some fish? I'm pretty sure some passengers are gonna like fish. Let's put all of that stuff inside of these dispensers right over here like this. And all right, there we go. This is actually looking awesome. And oh wait, hold on. We still got two dispensers over here that don't have anything in them. Hmm, what can we put inside of these ones? And oh, wait a minute. Why don't we make these ones the breakfast dispensers? This is where people can get all of their breakfast food. So uh, let's see, what do people like for breakfast? Oh, uh, I guess we can have some eggs. And all right, all right, what else, what else? Ooh, I guess we could also have some bread. Yeah, that's a pretty good breakfast meal. Ooh, we could have slices of bread, yeah. We can put down eggs over there and then the bread's right over there. And all right, I think this entire food area should be pretty much done. Hold on, let me test it out really quick. And oh, wait a minute, hold on. Uh, this isn't quite gonna work. I kind of forgot that when you put eggs inside of a dispenser, they like get thrown really hard. Uh, yeah, you don't want to throw eggs at your passengers and they're just gonna leave. Unless you want to prank them, then I guess that's funny. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Here, what I'm gonna do instead is just break this dispenser and I'm just gonna replace it with a dropper. There we go. Now the eggs are actually gonna get dropped and <laughs> not dispensed. All right, but anyways, this little buffet area is looking pretty good. But here, the next thing I need is a little area for people to, you know, be able to cook their food. So here, let me grab an oven. Uh, let me also grab a furnace. I guess we can also have a smoker in here in case anyone wants to like smoke their food. And ooh, why don't we build this on the second floor? We can build a second floor for the kitchen car right over here. So there we go. That is looking pretty good. And then I guess we could have a little staircase to get up to it. So here, let's just have a few stairs going up over here like this, looking good. And all right, now on this second floor is where we can have all of like the food cooking stuff. Let's put down a few ovens over there like that. We can put down a few furnaces right there, a few smokers, of course. And we can also have a bunch of countertops and some sinks for people to wash their hands in. Ooh, wait a minute, hold on. The last thing that I forgot, this is very important inside of a buffet. We need to have a chest with a bunch of plates. Okay, how can I forget about this? This is kind of like the most important part of a buffet. Let me put down all of these chests over here and inside of them, we can put a bunch of plates. There we go. All right, that's a lot of plates. All right, but anyways, now the final thing we need to do is just copy this entire kitchen setup over to the other side here. So let me just select all of this and let me run the command slash slash copy. And now let's go over on the other side and run the command slash slash flip and slash slash paste and boom, there we go. That is looking pretty awesome. Although wait, hold on. Our sinks are kind of facing the wrong way. Let's go ahead and put them this way. And there we go. Now that's all working and oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Our smokers are also kind of facing the wrong way. Mm, I haven't built my kitchen area yet. Is food really going to be that important? And uh, what, are you asking if food is going to be important? Of course it's going to be important. You know, people are going to be on the train for a long time. They're going to get hungry. Can't they bring their own food? Do I have to give it? I mean, yeah, the, I guess the passengers can bring their own food, but wouldn't it be nice if the train gave them food? Mm, I guess so. That gives me an idea. I know what I'm going to do now. And ooh, okay, wait, what are you doing? I'm going to put in some cows so that they can have a petting zoo and food at the same time. And, uh, uh, what? Wait, you're putting cows on your train? What? Uh, isn't that normal? What? No, that's not normal. All of the food inside of my train is already, uh, like, pre-cooked and stuff. Um, I don't know if you're telling me the truth or not. Are you trying to sabotage my train? And the what? No, I'm not trying to sabotage your train. I'm just saying that, uh, I don't think making your passengers, you know, hunt for their own food on your train is a good idea. Mm, okay, you've got a point. Okay, I'll fix that, but I'm still going to have cows on my train. Okay, okay, that sounds very interesting, but anyways, I think the kitchen car of my train is pretty much done. This thing is actually looking awesome, but ooh, wait, actually, there's one last thing it could use. And that is, of course, a little bit of windows because windows just make everything look better for some reason. Let's just put down a little bit of blue glass right over here. We can put it in between all of the food dispensers. So there we go. That is looking pretty nice. And here, let's also have some windows over here on the top floor. We can just set this entire wall right over here into some windows. There we go. And all right, sick. That is looking awesome. And oh, wait, hold on. One last thing I forgot to do. I got to add some fence over here because I do not want people falling off. All right, but anyways, my kitchen area is pretty much done now. I've got the kitchen area, I've got the passenger area, and I've got the main part of the train, but hmm, let's see. What should I build inside of the next car? And oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Before I build the next car, the first thing I should probably do is extend the track a little bit because it's kind of like running out. Here, let me just go ahead and select all this again. And you know what? This time, I'm just going to go ahead and do slash slash stack 200. There we go. We got to have this track go super far. All right, but anyways, now back to building the train. Let's see. What should we build on the 
next car of the train and oh, wait a minute hold on since this is supposed to be like a super luxury vip train what if i build like an entertainment area i could have an area with a pool you know the jacuzzi all that sort of stuff oh man you haven't started on those yet and wait what ruby you already built a pool and a jacuzzi on your train my entire train is entertaining what are you talking about what the okay well here i gotta try to make my train's entertainment better so here let me just go ahead and build this second car real quick i gotta put down some of these end rods first so there we go that's looking pretty good here now let's go ahead and build this second car and all right this car is actually gonna be crazy i'm gonna have a pool with a water slide and uh, a jacuzzi it's gonna be insane wait you have a water slide i might take that idea wait what you're stealing my water slide idea okay well you know what that's fine i'm just gonna build mine way better here let me build the train car first let me just select this position and then also go up over here in this corner and select this position and all right let's do slash slash walls concrete boom and okay now the next thing we got to do is of course add this little purple accent so let's select that and then of course let's go over here in the other corner and select that and now let's do slash slash walls and all right now let's add in the roof and oh wait a minute hold on since this is supposed to be like the you know the entertainment area why don't we make the roof out of some glass that could actually be really cool let's make the roof out of some light blue stained glass yeah all right but anyways now let's go ahead and add in all of the doors right over here and okay let's see what do we need to build first for this area oh i guess the first area we should probably be build is like a little change room area so you know people can like put on their swimsuit and all that and ooh, wait this is where i can also build the washroom for my train because i haven't really built a washroom on here yet oh yeah that is pretty important huh and yeah i think a washroom is gonna be very important on a train because uh otherwise it's not gonna go good what are the windows for and, uh, the, the what ruby i don't think uh, people should be uh using the windows for that but uh anyways uh here for the washroom area let me just grab a door really quick let's see we can use a fancy door for this oh wait what about this tech door over here this looks like a pretty futuristic door for a washroom all right let's go with that and here now let me go ahead and grab some signs because we need to have a boys bathroom and a girls bathroom so here we can have the boys bathroom be uh on the right side so here i'll just put down on this sign boys and then i'll have an arrow pointing right and then we can have the girls bathroom on the left side so here let me just make the left arrow first and then let me type out girls and okay there we go that is looking pretty good and all right now we just gotta build the washroom here the first thing we gotta do is build up the wall so let's just go ahead and build these walls over here like this looking good and then the next thing we need to do is uh of course add some you know stalls in the washroom so here hold on why don't we actually go ahead and get rid of this door because it's taking up a little bit too much space and instead we can just have like a single small door here and here yeah let's put down these doors uh right over here like this yeah that looks a lot better and then we can have the other door over here and okay yeah i think this should make it look a little bit nicer and give us more room to work with all right but anyways now inside of the washroom the first thing we need to do is actually build the stall so here we could have like uh, the, uh, one stall over there. We can have uh, another stall right over here. The stalls don't have to be too big. They can be kind of small. All we need to do is fit a toilet in there. So here, let's go ahead and put down one toilet in each one of these stalls. There we go. And finally, the last thing we have to do inside of the washroom is add a sink. So here, I guess we can just have uh, a few sinks over here like that. There we go. This washroom is a little bit cramped, but that, hey, we're on a train. Uh, Dash, where's the stuff from your toilet gonna go if you know you're on a moving train? And oh wait a minute actually that is a pretty good question and hold on a minute i guess the only place that it can go is like off the train right uh yeah what are you saying well uh you know i'm gonna need a way to get rid of the stuff in the toilet so why don't i just have a dispenser over here next to the toilet and then uh, we could have a lever right over here and uh this could be the lever for flushing the toilet wait what and, uh, guys I, I don't know what to tell you where else is it gonna go and hold on a minute let me test this out really quick let me just try flushing the toilet and hey that works perfectly it, it, it shoots the poop right off the train. What you? Guys, where else is it gonna go, huh? I don't know. Just the I don't uh, you. I don't know. I guess it does fertilize the ground. Wait, Cam, don't agree with him. And yeah, see guys, exactly. It's good fertilizer. But anyways, now let me go ahead and add a roof over here for the washroom. And all right, nice. The washroom is looking pretty good. But hold on a minute. Now we gotta copy and paste this washroom over here on the other side because we still need a girls and a boys bathroom. So here, let me just go here in this corner and select that position. And then let me also go over here in the other corner and select this position right here. And all right, now let me just go 
ahead and run the command slash slash copy. And now if I go over here, look this way and run the command slash slash flip and then slash slash paste. Boom. There we go. Check it out. Now we've got the bathroom copied over on this side. Although, wait a minute. Hold on. It looks like the toilets and uh, sinks are kind of facing the wrong way. That's a pretty easy fix, though. Let's just go ahead and repair all of that. And boom. There we go. Now both sides of the washroom are complete. I guess the next thing we can add is a little door over here for going out into the pool and water park area. So let's just add one door on each side like that. There we go. And all right, now it's time to build the pool and water park area. This area is actually going to be crazy. And hold on a minute. You know what? I think we need to make this car a little bit longer. I'm not going to lie. Since we built the washroom, we don't really have much space in here anymore. So let me just go ahead and select this entire side of the car really quick. And now if I just run the command slash slash move up 20, there we go. We just moved the 20 blocks back. Now let me just go ahead and select this part of the car and then look this way. And now I can just run the command slash slash stack and boom, there we go. We just extended the car too easy. All right, but anyways, now it's time to actually start building the pool and water park area. So let's see, what do we need to build first? And ooh, why don't we build the jacuzzi first? Let me grab some stairs really quick and we can just build the jacuzzi up over here. This can be where we put the hot tub and okay, that is looking pretty good. All right, and here, now it's time to actually build the hot tub. So here, let me grab a few quartz blocks and also a little bit of water and ooh, wait a minute, hold on. Since we need the water in here to be hot, let me grab a few magma blocks and all right, now let's start building the hot tub. This is about to be the nicest hot tub you've ever seen. Let's just go ahead and build a big box over here like this. And then what we got to do is put some magma blocks on the bottom to make the water super hot. There we go. That is looking pretty good here. Now let's go ahead and build one more layer of walls over here. And now we can start filling it all up with a bunch of water. And ooh, okay, okay. Check it out. This is looking pretty nice. I'm pretty sure it's so hot that the water is like steaming and stuff. All right, but anyways, I guess the next thing we got to do is add a little bit of stairs over here to actually get up to the hot tub. So there we go go. And okay, now this is looking pretty nice. And all right, there we go. I think the hot tub is done. This thing is awesome. But anyways, now that we got the hot tub done, the next thing we need to do is actually build like the main pool, you know? So uh, let's see, how are we going to do this? Hmm, we can't really dig underneath the train to like, you know, uh, have a little area for the pool. So I guess what we need to do is build our pool above the floor. So here, let's just build up a little bit like this. There we go. We can build three blocks high. And then using commands, let's go ahead and fill up this entire area with some water. So we can just select all this and let's just do the command slash slash set water there we go and all right nice this pool is looking pretty good the next thing we need is a little staircase to actually get up to it so there we go that is looking pretty nice and ooh, i have one last idea for what we could do we should make a diving board okay this is actually gonna be crazy here let's go ahead and put down a few ladders over here and then we can have our very own diving board right over here let's go hold on a minute i'm gonna go for a dive in the pool real quick let me just try this out really quick come on and splash let's go. That is awesome. Here, I guess we can also have a smaller diving board over here in case anyone's too scared to go on the tall one. But uh, yeah, I think this pool area should be done. And wait a minute. Hold on. It's not done yet. We need to have a water slide. Oh, yep. I already finished mine. And wait, what, Ruby? You really already built a water slide on your train? Uh, yeah. I wanted to copy your, I mean, um, just do something like yours. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. But anyways, I think I know exactly where I'm going to build my water slide. I'm going to build like a little platform over here in the deep end of the pool. This is where you have to get to the water slide from. You have to like go up this platform. There we go. That is looking pretty good. And then I guess we can have the water slide going off this way. Okay, hold on. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of thought we were gonna have more room. This train is a little bit small to build a water slide on, but it should still work. Let's just go ahead and build the water slide over here like this. Hopefully this water slide will actually work here. Now let's just go ahead and add a few slabs over here around the sides. And okay, okay. There we go. That is looking pretty good. And all right here, the next thing we gotta do is add the water. Let's just put down some water over there like that and oh, let's go the water slide is working that is actually looking awesome here let me go ahead and take it for a spin really quick let me just start up over here and hey the water slide actually works really good Ooh, let's see if it works better than mine oh yeah this definitely is gonna work better than yours this thing is actually awesome all right but anyways now that we got the water slide done we've got the pool we've got the hot tub hmm is there anything else i need to build inside of my train and oh, wait a minute i think i know exactly what i need to build on my train i need to build some weapons on it because you know since everyone on my train is gonna be like super vip IP and a very important person, they're gonna need to have protection. And whoa, Ruby, I just took a look at your train for the first time in a while. This is uh, very different than last time I saw it. What is all this? Um, isn't it cute? Wow, okay, you've got, is that a cow over there? And, and you got rainbows and stuff? Oh, yeah, and the best part is the front, but you can't look at that right now. And okay, okay, I, I guess we'll see the front later. And whoa, Cam, oh, yours is looking pretty interesting as well. Yep, this is what they used to use back in the wild, wild west. What the? Okay, well, uh, here, I gotta add some weapons 
things to my train. So, hmm, let's see. What type of weapons could I do? And <gasps> wait a minute. What if I build a TNT cannon on my train? Is that going to work? Hold on. There's only one way to find out. Let me just go ahead and try building a TNT cannon over here on the top of the train. If this works, then that's probably going to make my train the coolest train in existence ever. And hold on a minute. This TNT cannon is a bit long. I think we need to shorten it a little bit. There we go. That's more like it. And uh, here, now let me go ahead and grab a few dispensers. And we can just put some dispensers over here on the side of the TNT cannon. And then we also need one more dispenser over here. Next, let me go ahead and grab a slab and some water. And all right, let's go ahead and put the slab down over there and then the water right there. And then the next thing we need to do, of course, is fill up all the dispensers with a little bit of TNT. So let's just do that right now. And okay, now we just got to hook everything up with some redstone. So let's just put a few repeaters going into this dispenser over here like that. There we go. And okay, here, the TNT cannon should be done. I guess let's just go ahead and test it out real quick. Let me press this button right here and oh wait uh, ruby uh, I, your train might take a little bit of damage from this and oh wait it worked but uh that, that worked a little bit too well oh uh, wait what what are you doing huh did something happen to my train and, and no 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 don't worry your train is just fine but hold on a minute i think my tnt cannon aims a little bit too high i think i need to put a block over here to stop it from going like the way too high let me try this again let me press the button real quick and all right here we go oh wait hold on ruby this one might actually hit your train you might want to be careful from this wait, one no, 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 oh no, no, wait no, no, it's about no, no. your train and Oh, okay. It didn't hit your train. Can you watch where you point that thing? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I, I just have to test it, you know? I gotta make sure I can get rid of uh, any enemies trying to mess with my train. Here, let me go ahead and try it out one more time. Is this gonna work better? I just put another block here. Let's see. Uh, is it gonna go a bit lower? And oh, yes, that worked perfectly. And wait, hold on. I think it did a little bit of damage to Ruby's train. It kind of just broke this uh, fence over here. Let's just repair that. And okay, there we go. No damage done. Did something happen to my train? Uh, no, no, no. Don't worry. Nothing happened to your train. But anyways, now that we got this TNT cannon done, the next thing we gotta do is uh, let's build another one over here on this side so we can have dual TNT cannon. Let me just grab another wand really quick and let me select this position here and then also this position all the way up here. And now let me just go ahead and run the command slash slash stack and boom, there we go. Check it out. Now we got dual TNT cannons. This is actually awesome. And here now what we gotta do is make it so that you can actually control the TNT cannons from inside of the train. So let me just go ahead and connect both of these up with some redstone really quick. There we go. And then I guess we're gonna have a button right over here above the captain's chair for actually uh, activating it. We'll just go ahead and connect a little bit of redstone from this button. There we go. And okay, everything should be connected now. I kind of want to test it, but I feel like uh, now that we have two TNT cannons, it's kind of going to mess with uh, Ruby's train. Wait, uh, Ruby, can you move your train a little bit? Uh, I, I, I kind of got something I need to test. Um, uh, I don't want to move it right now. Do I have to? Uh, uh, well, I mean, you don't have to, but wait, hold on. Is it all right if I test something and if it messes with your train, I'll just repair it? Okay, but you better repair it. And okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll repair it. But here, let me go inside really quick. And all right, let's test this out. Let me just hit this button up over here. And oh, wait, I hear the TNT cannons going. I think it's gonna work. Come on, let's see this. And whoa, that worked so good. And oh, wait, look, it barely even messed with Ruby's train. It only broke this block over here, which we can easily repair. Let's go. All right, but anyways, now that I've got some defense for my train, I think my train is pretty much done. I've got everything that you could ever need. And finished. And done. And ooh, wait, you guys are done your trains too? Okay, hold on. We got to take a tour of each other's trains. And whoa, Kim, can we check out yours first? I really haven't seen much of yours. And whoa, okay, yours looks very old. Yeah, we could go through mine first, even though it's the coolest. I want to see. I haven't seen it at all. Oh. What, Cam? Yours is definitely not the coolest. Mine is probably going to be the coolest, but uh, it looks very old. Uh, yeah, it's the style I was going for. It's like the cowboy times. Yeehaw! Whoa, where do we start? And yeah, hold on. Where can we start? I guess we can start back here in the caboose. And all right, all right. And whoa, okay, this is a uh, pretty nice looking caboose. What's all these uh, stuff on the floor for? Uh, this is the dual room. Uh, if you ever have any uh, complications with somebody, you take them here, and then uh, you should take one of those and uh, get ready to walk five paces. And wait, wait, what? We're doing a dual what? Yep, uh, turn around, and then you see those red marks. That's exactly exactly five paces. We're going to walk five paces, turn around, then try and shoot each other. Oh my gosh, can I be the referee? Uh, uh, what? Uh, there's no referee. It's all just skill. Oh. Uh, uh, okay, well, here, let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. Uh, let me just walk pace, over here. And, but, can, wait, wait, what are you doing? You're going so slow. Just walk normally. I, I shot you. I win. You don't know how to do it. What? You don't know how to walk five paces. You got to go slow. You got to one pace a second. You go one pace. Two pace. Uh, uh, why, why would Three I do pace. that when I can just walk normally? Okay, that's kind of weird, but hold on. What's this ladder up here for? Uh, let's uh, see. What do you have you on this You might want to be a little bit careful. Uh, why do you have a bunch of TNT here? Uh, this is for mining. We're taking this to the mine. We're trying to get the gold rush. And Oh, oh, I see. All right, but anyways, I see you also have a bunch of different cars. What's on the next car? And 
Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. You don't have any fences here? Wait, what if someone's trying to, like, get between cars and they fall off? Oh, that's on them. But uh, I, I guess you can check out this next area. We've got a nice little uh, seating area. And, ooh, okay, okay. That's kind of cool. But hold on. What's over here? Do you have just more seating areas? And Well, okay, there's a lot of seating areas. And Wait, hold on. There's this ladder up here. Whoa, you're passing up the door. Wait, what? what did, did I miss something here? What's here? Uh, yeah, there's a ladder here uh, in case you got to go uh, number one or number two. There's bathrooms up here. And, oh, wait. This is where your bathrooms are? Okay, these are some pretty nice. Wait, what? There's no toilet in here. Oh, uh, uh, the, I guess I didn't install one in there, but uh, there's one in these ones. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, wow. We're really going old school, but um, why is the toilet in front of a window? Oh, so you can see the trees and stuff going by whenever the train moves. Uh, I don't want to do that when I'm on the toilet. Oh, wait, I have one question. Where does, like, the stuff in the toilet go on this train? Oh, it fills up, and then uh, we, we get the worst employee to dump it once a month. What the? Oh, gross. That is disgusting. Okay, well, uh, anyways, what's on the next car? Oh, the next car? Uh, we've got another one of these seating areas, but if you follow me up here, I can show you a little secret. Oh, what's the secret? Whoa! This here is where we keep all our gold. Whoa! Can I eat it? That is a lot of gold. Wait, what, Ruby, you want to eat it? Um, jeez. Hey, stop eating my treasure. This is all <laughs> I've collected across all the Wild West. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, but wait, what's on the next car? Oh, this is a dining area. You can play cards with your friends here. Oh, okay. And Whoa, there's a long table. What's this table for? Oh, uh, this is where you get your drinks, you know, like your milk and your apple juice. Can I have a drink, please? Yeah, can I get some orange juice? Uh, I don't think we got any orange juice. Hold on, let me grab some for you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Here, I'll give you some of this. This is our fresh pineapple juice. And, ooh, pineapple juice. Pineapple is awesome. Pineapple juice. Thanks. Um, what's next? All right, well, anyways, that was kind of cool, but hold up. Let's see. What's over here on this car? And oh, there's just some more seating. And hold on, wait, what is over here? There's a ladder going up. Oh, yeah, this is where we keep all of our coal. And whoa, okay, that is a lot of coal. Whoa, this is a lot of coal. Well, yeah, we got to make sure the train runs for a long time. All right, and whoa, wait a minute. Hold on, is this your engine room? Yeah, it is. Uh, as you can see here, they shovel the coal and and they throw it over here to make some steam to keep us going. And whoa, okay, that is pretty awesome. But wait, wait, hold on. Now I want to see if this thing can actually move. Oh, can this thing move? Of course it can. Well, then let's go. All right, let me just turn on the train real quick. And all right, we're moving. And whoa, we're going. Whoa, this is awesome. Wait, 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 can we don't have seats. We'll go back to one of the seating areas. I made uh, plenty of them. And whoa, whoa, Kim. Wait, hold on. I think a train just got derailed. Whoa, whoa, what is going on? Wait, this is dizzying. Kim, uh, you're supposed to stay on the rails. Not. What are you doing? This ain't the best. Oh, my gosh. Wait. Hold on, it is actually very bad. Cam, you're like, completely missing the rails. And my old train was better than this. What are you doing, Cam? Drive this train better. I'm gonna try it. Oh my gosh, Cam, just stop the train. Stop the train. It is going horribly. I'm, I'm turning this off. Okay, let's just move on to the, the, the next train. Ruby, can we check out your train next? Yes, please get me out of here. And whoa, Cam, uh, you did a very interesting uh, parking job. I don't think you uh, really drove it right. Yeah, it'll be all right. That is terrifying. Um, Well, mine is over here, I think. All right, all right. And yeah, Ruby, let's check out your train next. And I'm pretty sure yours is over here and okay yeah yours is looking very interesting as well yep and uh did you explode this part and uh, oh yeah that was me but uh, don't worry it didn't blow up any part of your train your train is all good you are very lucky but um let's go um into my train right uh here all right all right and whoa there are so many rooms in here and wait what's on this first room is this uh, are these washing machines uh, yep this is where the employees sleep whoa okay and wait it doesn't look like the employees have a lot of room down here nope they're not supposed to have a lot of room. And this is their shower. Oh, uh, yeah. They don't have a lot of privacy, but that's okay. They're employees, so, like, what? Oh, uh, uh, uh okay. And, oh, wait, I see you have some fences here uh, separating the tracks. That's pretty good. Yeah. And over here, we have a passenger car. And, wait, what? Uh, you have beds here for the passengers as well? Well, I wasn't going to put them in at first, but then, um, I kind of just thought that it would be good. Um, we also have some fireworks over here so people can lay down and look at them while they go to sleep. And, uh, uh, whoa, okay, that's... That's, uh, interesting. Um, all right, well, anyways, what's in the next room? And, uh, oh, I forgot to put railings here, but that's okay. And wait, what? Is this trampolines? Yep, this is a trampoline room with a surprise at the top. You can get there. Wait, what? A surprise at the top? Hold on, I want to make it in. <gasps> I made it. Let's go. And what? Wait, is this the water slide? Yep, go in. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm about to go in. This thing actually looks awesome. Come on and Yes, I made it. I hit my cowboy hat a few times. Well, your cowboy hat's too tall, but isn't this pool cute? It's on the roof. Whoa, okay, yeah, this pool is... It's pretty cool, but I'm not sure if having it on the roof is the best idea. Like, if you're going fast, all the water is gonna, like, splash off the train. What do you mean? I have, like, some, uh, fence stuff over here. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough, but anyways, let's move on to the next room. What do you have down over here at- uh, Oh, oh, this is what you are talking about when you said you had cows here. Uh, yep. Mushroom area? What in the world? Why is there a mushroom cake? Well, Dash was saying that I shouldn't make my guests hunt their own food, so, um, they can get a bowl and just get it from these cows. And, oh, oh, I see. They can just get, like, a mushroom mushroom 
things too from here. That's pretty nice. And look, there's even a cake on the table. Whoa, okay, okay. That is pretty nice. But anyways, what's over here on the next room? And oh, let me guess, is this a dance floor? It's, 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 yeah, it is. Whoa, okay, this is pretty cool. But wait, the floor is made out of glass. Uh, isn't that kind of like dangerous? What if like a rock hits the floor while the train is moving? Uh, what? No, people like to see out of the floor and stuff is moving. Uh, okay, that seems a bit dangerous, but uh, whatever. And ooh, wait, I see this is your coal room. Yep, yep. And this is my engine room, but there's one more surprise. Wait, what is it? Come over here. Uh, what? And what is that? <laughs> is that a clown face in front of your train? It's not a clown face. It's cute. Uh, the, it's eye is sagging. Um, what is the point of it? It's so that um people always know that we're coming. This looks horrifying. What do you mean? It's cute. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I, this is a pretty interesting looking train, but uh, hold on. Can it actually move? Uh, yeah, it can. Okay, everyone. Are you ready? All right. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Wait, hold on. Are we moving? Uh, I think I need a... Uh... Uh, here we go. Oh, oh, wait, there we go. We're moving again. Oh, wait, Ruby. Uh, I don't think you're on the rails anymore. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, what is going on? Oh, wait, what is going my on? God. Why are we in the air right now? What is going on? Why are we going in circles? Ruby, go down. Go down. How did we end up here? I, I, I don't know. Oh, no, oh, no. Just be careful. Don't hit my train. Oh, no. It's floating oh, away. Oh, oh, I just, oh, oh, oh. I just fell off it. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I don't think your train uh, survived. Uh, no, you had a good run, though. Wow. Um, and that's how a real cowboy stays on a bull right there. You stayed on that whole time? Yeah, I did. Years of practice. Uh, and that was my train. Also, I drew a cow right here. I hope you like it. And Oh, okay. Well, uh, th that was a pretty interesting uh, train. I think you could uh, make some improvements, you know, to, you know, stay on the rails a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, let let's go check out my train now. I think it's a little bit better. Okay. All right, but anyways, guys, uh, before we check out my train, let's go ahead and actually extend the rails a little bit so that we can actually see it move because uh, my train can actually drive unlike uh, your guys's. Hey, I gave it my best shot, okay? I, I didn't know how to drive a train. And you were saying you weren't going to have a captain. You definitely needed a captain. But here, let me just go ahead and stack my rails this way really quick. Let me just do slash slash stack uh, 300. I'm going to make a really long rail. 300? Whoa. That's a lot. Yep, this train can travel far. But anyways, now we can hop on the inside. Uh, speaking of inside, uh... Where is it? Oh, oh, uh, well, uh, about that. I kind of forgot to add a door, but we can just go in through the ceiling. Yeah, everyone just follow me down here. Uh, that's minus a point already. What? Okay, 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 guys, come on. You know, who even needs a door? This is super luxury and VIP that uh, the only people getting in are going to, like, be uh, brought in manually. But anyways, uh, this is the captain's what do you room. Mean who needs a door? There's a door right here. And, uh, okay, you, you know what I meant. I meant, like, an entrance door. But anyways, check it out, guys. This is the captain's room. This is where the captain can sit and actually control the ship. And because, you know, he's going to be... Uh, doing nothing most of the time. We've got a little mini fridge with some snacks for him. Ooh. Hey, what does this button do? Oh, oh, uh, no, well, uh, you could have waited, but uh, pretty much what it does, it, it fires TNT and oh no, you just messed up some of the track. Well, it should be fine. The train should still be able to go over that. Whoa, what the, your train has TNT cannons? Yup, you know, just in case there's any baddies in the way that I need to, uh, you know, eliminate. Uh, yeah, he almost shot my train earlier. Any bad cowboys? And uh, No, no, I don't think there's really gonna be any cowboys uh, messing with me. I it's kind of like a modern train, but anyways, right over here, this is the employee seating area. This is where all of the employees can take a seat, and you know, they can have a nice view outside through the window. They can see all of the, the flying trains around the area. Whee! I like it. It's pretty big. And, wow, wow. Yeah. You guys are really uh, having your time on the seats. All right, but uh, anyways, if you want to follow me back over here, this is the next room. This right here is where the passengers stay. Ooh. Can I go in? Which one's my room? And, uh, uh, you can have that room over there, Cam. But, yep, each passenger has their very own room with a bed, a chair, and a little storage area. And there's also window blinds. This needs a bit of redecoration. And wait, what, what, what needs redecoration? Hold on, let me see this. And, oh, oh, you're making everything yellow. Also, there's also a big a big problem. And, wait, what, what is it? There's not enough room to jump on the bed. I keep on hitting my head on the ceiling. What? What do you mean? There's plenty of room. You can, like, jump on the bed just like that. Yeah. Sure, if I want a concussion. Wait, okay, well, you know, the bed wasn't designed to be jumped on, but, uh, anyway. I guess we can go check out the next part now. And uh, what the heck did you do here? Sleeping on hay. That's what all cowboys do. And, oh, wow. This looks ugly. I, I think you just made your room even worse. You just downgraded it. All right. But uh, anyways, up over here is the balcony area. Ooh. 
this is cool. I can see Cam's train from here. Oh, yeah. Look at how pretty it looks. Uh, it does not look pretty at all. It's kind of uh, levitating right now. Uh, yeah, just ignore that part. Okay, but anyways, right over here is the next room. This room over here is the kitchen area. Check it out. It's like a whole buffet. We have a bunch of dispensers with food inside of them. And whenever you press the dispenser, you can get your food. Ooh, I want this one. What's a fella got to do around here to get some apple juice? Where's the apple juice? And, uh, uh, we don't really have apple juice. We kind of only have water around here. But hey, we've got some apples here. What you can do is get the apples, uh, crush them with your hands to get the juice out, and then pour them in the water bottle. That is not rootin' nor tootin'. Cheese. Cheese. And, uh, uh, well, Robbie, chill with the cheesecakes. Go easy. You're supposed to, like, uh, bring your own plate and, you know, like, eat on your own plate. Not on the floor. Cheese. Oh, yeah, okay, well, anyways, here, let me show you where the plate area is. It looks like you're pretty eager to eat right over here. We have a chest with a bunch of plates inside. Ooh, plates. Oh, yummy, I love plates. And wait, what? You're not supposed to eat the plates. You're supposed to, like, put food on the plates and then eat the plates? Dude, <laughs> chill, chill, chill. But, uh, anyways, this is the kitchen area. We got some plates. We got a little, uh, oven here in case you want to heat up your food. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, oh, wait, Ruby, you're really going crazy with the cheesecake. Woo! Ruby, I think you've lost it, partner. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. Well, I think that's enough cheesecaking. Everyone, follow me to the next room. This is our entertainment area. This is where we have a water park and a hot tub. So, uh, the first area is the change room. So, uh, maybe we can just go into whichever change room is for you. And uh, Cam, you, went, you guys went to the wrong change room. Oh, the sign's kind of confusing. No, no. It's pretty yeah. simple. It says boys this way with an arrow and then girls this way with another arrow. Yeah, but the word for girls is closer to this side. Yeah. And, what, okay, hold on. You know what? I'll make the signs less confusing. How about we just do uh, one sign here for the girls' bathroom, and then another sign here for the boys' bathroom. There we go. Is that better? That's a lot better. Oh, okay, yeah, this makes sense. Alright, but anyways, yeah, there's the bathroom, you know, uh, pretty nice. Oh, wait a minute. I should have added windows so that people can see what they're actually doing when they flush the toilet. Hold on, Cam, check this out. Uh, wait, what? Uh, here, why don't you try taking a seat on the toilet, and uh, just try flushing it real quick and check out the window. Uh, ew. Yep, we've got automatic uh, poop uh, sorting systems. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, alright, well, uh, what's going on over here? And all right, all right, right over here is the main entertainment area. Here is where we have the pool, water slide, diving boards, and the hot tub. It is pretty awesome. Whoa, this looks pretty sick. And wait, Kim, did you just say what's a hot tub? Yeah, what's a hot tub? Pretty much, it's a tub filled with water that's really hot. People go inside of it uh, and it feels nice. Well, uh, I'm ready to swim. Doesn't seem very cowboy like to me. And whoa, wait, Ruby, you really brought all your swimming gear and stuff. And hold on a minute, guys, we gotta do a diving contest. Let's see who can make the biggest splash. Okay, well, I have a mask, so obviously I'm gonna win. And and let's go! All right, let's see this then. Oh, that was a pretty nice splash. I'm not going to lie, but guys, check this out. I'm about to make a ginormous splash. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go! 360, too easy. Well, I've been training for a long time, and I'm going to make the biggest, biggest splash in the world. Here we go. Three, and two, one, All right, one, let's jump. see this. Whoa! Whoa! That was a ginormous splash. How in the world did you do that? Uh, I told you, I'm the most rootinest, tootinest cowboy around here. I know I know my ways. Okay, okay. Well, anyways, guys, the next area is over here. This is the water slide. Pretty much, we can climb this staircase to go all the way here, and then we got a nice little water slide. It's pretty nice. Oh, yeah, this is all right. Uh, I thought it would be, you know, more exhilarating. Woo! I mean, it's kind of exhilarating. You could also use it as a diving board in case you just want to jump off. But anyways, that is my entire train. What do you guys think? Uh, I think I haven't seen it moved yet, so uh, I, I'm going to wait to throw my opinion. And Okay, okay, fair enough. Well, guys, hold on. You guys are going to be surprised to hear this, but my train actually moves. And it actually is going to stay on the track, okay? Uh, sure. It's hard to believe that, but uh, I, guess, I guess I'll have a little bit of hope. I'll see it when I believe it. Okay, okay. Well, here, guys, let me hop into the captain's seat really quick. You guys are about to uh, get your minds blown away because my train can actually work so here let me just hop over here into the captain's seat and up oh, you guys can just stand i guess oh uh, okay yeah i'm just gonna stand here and watch here let me just turn on the ship really quick and all right guys we should be moving and yes check it out guys look we're actually staying on the track and oh uh, guys why is there a piece of the track missing over there what uh, i don't know maybe if we go fast enough we'll just skip it and, okay okay hold on i think we just have to go really fast here let's just uh, speed up really quick come on go 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 hopefully this doesn't uh, derail us and yes we made it let's go whoa you're trying is awesome. And yeah, guys, see, my train can actually stay on track. And hold on a minute. Let's try pressing this button here. Is the TNT cannon still going to work while we're moving? Only one way to find out. Let's see this. Uh -oh. and, uh, wait, I think it's going to work. And Oh, uh, guys, it did not work. Oh, no. I don't think the water came with us. And, oh, but anyways, other than that, my train actually worked. Let's go. Yeah, I guess it's the only one that does work. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.